Hello, good morning friends, Miss Heather here. Okay, let's start off with our good morning song. Good morning friends, good morning friends, good morning friends, I'm glad you're watching today. Hi. Okay, before we read our book, let's get started and say our church words. We like to say that we have open minds, loving hearts, and helping hands. Good job! Now, I picked out this fun animal book for us today called The Fleas Sneeze. And it is by Linda Downey and illustrated by Carla Firehammer. Look at all those animals. All right. On a dark, dark night, on an old, old farm, in rickety, crickety, tumble-down barn, everyone slept peacefully. A rat, a cat, a black-eyed bat. A cow, an owl, a featherhead fowl, a dog, a hog, an old barn frog. Everyone slept peacefully, but not the flea. No one heard him cough. Uh huh, uh huh. See the flea up on the mouse. Not even the mouse he used for a house, or the rat, or the cat, or the black eyed bat, or the cow, or the owl, or the feather head fowl or the dog, or the hog, or the old barn frog. They all slept peacefully, but not the flea. No one heard him sniffle, sniffle, Not even the mouse he used for a house, or the rat, or the cat, or the black-eyed bat, or the cow, or the owl, or the featherhead fowl, or the dog, or the hog, or the old barn frog. They all slept peacefully, but not the flea. No one heard his grabbled plea. Does anybody have a tissue for B? See that poor flea looking all sick up there. Not even the mouse he used for a house he used, or the rat, or the cat, or the black eyed bat. Or the cow, or the owl, or the featherhead fowl, or the dog, or the hog, or the old barn frog. They all slept peacefully, but not the flea. Poor flea. Then suddenly, before he could cover his snout, ah-choo! It scared the rat, who cried boo-hoo, and woke the cat, who hissed maroo. It baffled 
tackled the bat, whose eyes turned blue, and confused the cow, who muttered, Moo! Moo! It outraged the owl, who hollered, Hoo! Hoo! And flustered the fowl, who crowed, it daunted the dog who barked woo woo and sprayed the hog who screamed ew and reminded the frog of his old nephew. But the mouse, the flea used for a house, kindly gave him a tissue. The flea wiped his nose and before his eyes had even closed, he began to doze. Aww. So nice of that mouse. For all the rest of that night, dark, dark night, on the old, old farm, in the rickety, crickety, tumble-down barn, Everyone slept peacefully. The flea and the mouse he used for a house, the rat, the cat, and the black-eyed bat, the cow, the owl, and the feather-head fowl, even the dog and the old barn frog, everyone slept just like the log, except the hog. Uh oh, do you see the hog's tail shaking over there? He's awake now. No one heard his garbled wheeze. I think I'm gumba sneeze. Uh oh. Now the pig's gonna sneeze. Such a cute book. There were a lot of rhyming words in there and a lot of animal names that sometimes can be used as other names like they called the hog, which we also know as a pig, or they said the featherhead fowl, which we also know, there it is, as a chicken. Just a couple names in there. So a fun, movement or sound activity you could go along with this book is you guys can go over the animal sounds. Can you balk like a chicken? Or can you flap your wings like a bat? Or what about hop like a frog? I love to hop like a frog with my son. Or can you moo like a cow? Or oink like a pig? Or wolf like a dog? or meow like a cat. Those would be some fun movement games and talk about all the animal sounds. I can't wait to read another story to, story to you guys next week. I miss you all so much. Have a great week. Bye.